Hello everybody! One thing I've noticed through checking on my videos and everything throughout the time I've been making them is that I have a diverse group of people who watch my videos, especially in range of age. So, that being said, some of you watching this right now may be considering going to college, or maybe you just started going to college and you don't know what you want to study, which was me when I was in that situation of starting college. I didn't really know what to expect going into college, so when I sat in the classroom and the teacher started speaking only in Spanish and teaching in Spanish and French and any language class I have taken, it has been a big surprise for me because in high school I didn't have that immersive environment, whereas other people, maybe some of their schools and everything were immersive, but mine was not very immersive. So I thought that that was really cool. And even though it could be intimidating for some people, you kind of pick up the language quicker because you're always hearing it every day, which is really neat. Another thing is there are ample opportunities, at least around my area of school, and I go to school in a very small town. So you would think, hmm, I'm not sure what's really out here because this is kind of in the middle of nowhere. But I actually have opportunities with the Spanish community, which I will cover in another video. But there are opportunities I have to be using my languages pretty often. Other than volunteering with the community, I have opportunities to use French and Portuguese at school, which includes activities held by the school. Yes, there are some international students that I can speak with, but also the Spanish and French departments will hold their own events. Weekly, we are required to go to mm, at least 10 events throughout the semester. So you have the option weekly, of either going to a movie, going to the house where the TA lives to, you know, drink some tea or coffee or water or whatever you want and speak in that language for an hour, the option to have lunch with professors and the TA and also, which is teacher's assistant if you didn't know that, and only speak in that language for an hour, which is really cool as well. And sometimes they'll have special events that aren't part of the weekly thing. Other people will talk about the current news and what's going on in our country or in the country of the language you are studying. And you get to speak the language for that hour. So I always thought that that was really cool. Maybe your school has a language resource center. Check and see if it does because that could be a really cool tool or just a really cool place to study in general. My school has one of those and I know it gets highly underused. But it's a great place to study because it's a nice quiet space, you're surrounded by language resources, there's also games you could play in other languages, and the people who do work there are very nice. What I like about college as well is, depending on the college, I chose one that had more options than my high school because my high school just had Spanish and French. And I knew I wanted Japanese, even though I never had the opportunity to actually take Japanese classes, at least I knew it was there. So choose a college that has many languages and you can basically start whatever language you want and have all these opportunities to practice and hear it all the time and then therefore you're learning a lot quicker than you ever would have in high school. So if you're considering majoring in a language, that's great. I mean, it looks great in this current society to have a language major or at least be able to speak another language fluently or so. So if you do want to major in a language, that's great. I chose to major in two. I majored in Spanish and French. Why did I do that? Well, there is a longer story behind that, but in short, my freshman year, I tried different kinds of classes in different subjects to fulfill my general requirements and couldn't find anything that I really liked in addition to Spanish. So I thought I'd continue with what I started in high school, which was one year of French. Well. What I didn't realize, which I should have realized earlier, was that it's going to be hard now for me to find out where to go from graduating college with just two bachelor's degrees in languages. Really, the good thing about having a language is that it could be combined with any field. So if you want to go into the medical field, that's great. If you want to go into business, that's great as well. If you want to teach, that's great. It doesn't really matter what you want to do because having another language, especially if it's widely spoken, is just great. I mean, you're more likely to get hired 
because people are looking for people who speak other languages. So the problem that I ran into is when looking for grad programs, I still don't really know what I want to do. And it's something I've been trying to figure out for a long time because school and society puts a lot of pressure on you to know what you want to do, even at an early age. I remember in high school still not knowing what I wanted to do and being stressed out that I didn't know, even though it was okay up until like up through college and everything. So the problem that I'm dealing with is trying to find a program in something that interests me and that I can use just a language degree because I have found things that interest me and potential careers I want to pursue, except I can't because the prerequisites to get into these programs require a specific bachelor's degree in something I don't have because I only have languages. Say I were looking into nutrition. They would require a bachelor's degree, some kind of background in science, you know, a couple different sciences. Same with computer science. If I wanted to pursue that, I need some kind of background in computer science already. Even if I wanted to be a web developer or software designer, I can't just go into a master's program with Spanish and French, and that's a problem because now that I realize that, I'm in a situation of, what do I do? Do I go back to school or do I try to find some program that does not have requirements that I can just try to pursue that program? So I would advise you to think before just majoring in a language. And if you're considering majoring in two languages, I would also you know, think about that a little bit more. Talk to your guidance counselors, talk to if you have a career center at your school, go there and ask where alumni of the language you're studying, well, who studied the language that you're studying, are now, what they do for a living, and if you could talk to them just to see if you'd be interested in something else. Another thing that was kind of a disappointing reality for me, which I should have known, I guess I was very naive for thinking this in high school and throughout the beginning of college, was that Majoring in a language would be like taking a high school class. You only focus on grammar, but then now with like added speaking and such, but you focus on grammar and vocabulary, composition, conversation, and yes, you do. You do in the 100 levels, so the beginning levels, you do in the 200 levels or intermediate levels, and you do in 300 or an advanced level. But if you're deciding to major in a language, it's actually going to be more than just studying the language. You have to know that you will be taking classes in culture, possibly linguistics, and lots of literature classes. Lots. So you need to be into literature. And I'm not talking about modern literature like the Hunger Games translated into Spanish. I'm talking about Don Quixote and all the classical literature that is out there that students usually read. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're into that, that's great, but I'm just advising you in advance because somehow I was very naive and thought I would only be studying the language. When in reality, I guess I could have stopped taking classes after a certain point and thought, but then I thought that the major would be just studying the language because it is a French major and not a literature major. But essentially, What's going on is it's like being an English major, at least from what I hear, but in a different language. So you're going through the same thing that they go through. If you are an English major, let me know if that's the case, how English majors work, what you study, etc. Also, you never know what you're going to take because it depends on what your professor's specialty is. I have a professor that is into philosophy and Philosophy tends to just go over my head. I'm not really into that. I don't like to read too deeply into things, at least philosophical things. So I'm taking a class right now, and it's all about reading philosophical texts and interpreting them and deciding if they're moral or not based on France's idea of morality back then and then based on our idea of morality. It's very complicated, and I was upset to be taking this class because I thought that if I wanted to take a philosophy class, I would have signed up for one, but I signed up for French. So I was hoping to take a French class, except I didn't realize that, you know, the French major involves more than just French language. 
it involves doing other things in the French language. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of these issues in case you're thinking of majoring in a language and you didn't already know these things like me who didn't know this beforehand. Um, maybe you're thinking of majoring in two languages and I just want to let you know about the problems that I have faced because of that as well. I'm not saying that doing it is a bad thing and that it's not worth it and you may love literature, you may love linguistics, you may love cultural studies, which usually has to do with literature, at least in my school, so that's great if you love all of that stuff. Also, I wanted to tell you that languages are really fun in college, at least in the college that I go to, and it's great. It's great to take a language. Most likely you'll have to as a general requirement, but you can have fun doing it. It'll be a great opportunity and not at all like high school. So just wanted to let you be aware of all of those things and that's it for this week's video. If you've gone through a similar experience, then please leave a comment saying, you know, what you did. If you majored in a language before, let me know what you did after college. If you majored in two languages, let me know what you did after as well. All right, see you next week. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to press the like button so I can know to make more content like this. Also, remember to leave a comment telling me if you like these kind of videos or if you want me to make other kinds of videos. Also, remember to subscribe so that you can know when my new videos come out. They come out every week. Also, you can check my blog for other content on travel and language learning, and you can check my Twitter for updates.